Getting things done nation, listen, let me cut to the chase. I'm about to show you how to install just about any Android app you could desire on your Quest device. And you won't need a PC or Mac, just download one app and it's as simple as that. Yo, 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 it's your boy Jay Dunn and welcome back to Getting Things Done where we motivate you, motivate you to get things done through faith and relevant technology. Listen, today we're talking all about how to install just about any Android app you could imagine on your Quest 2, your Quest Pro, your Quest 3, it doesn't even matter. It's platform agnostic when it comes down to which Quest device. The app is called Mobile VR Station. It's a really cool app that allow you to play different media types, but it has a super secret power. It allows you to install Android applications on your Quest device. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial and show you how it works and show you some cool apps I downloaded as well. Let's get into it right now. Okay, so first things first, we actually have to download the app from the MetaQuest store. So we're gonna click on the store icon, go to search and actually type in mobile VR station. That's mobile VR station. And then once we have mobile VR station in the search bar, we should be able to find it. And of course it'll come up in our search results here. We click on it and we're gonna go ahead and click on view and store. Now there's gonna be a little tab that comes up because it's an app lab game. Just click okay and let's go ahead and hit download. Once the app is installed, we wanna go ahead and click on it. And then once the UI comes up, we're looking for something that says fix Android issues configuration wizard. Click on that. And then we're gonna click on show all options. And then the last one configure manage all files. So once we're in this folder, we're gonna click on enable manage all files. Now in this area, all we have to do is simply click on allow. I know you can't actually see the screen. It doesn't record for privacy concerns, but all I'm gonna do is click allow here. And then once I click it, I'm gonna close out the window and then close out this X in the background. This one should bring us right back into our main menu where I get to verify. And as you can see, it says manage all files is turned on. So now we're gonna complete the last few steps here and that's gonna be to configure scope storage because all Quest devices use Android 12. We're gonna click on request access on step one. And in this area, we're not gonna worry about anything at the top here. We don't need to change anything. We're simply gonna click on use this folder and then allow. Then once we have that, we're gonna reboot the application, go back into our settings where we go to configuration wizard. And here's our final step. We're gonna click on show all options, configure scope settings, request access. And now we're gonna go back just two pages here and find a dom download folder where we have our APK. We're gonna click on that APK and as you see, it gives us a little warning here. We're gonna go ahead and click continue right here. And after that, we're gonna get an option to install. And now we're able to install the APK. This is crazy. We're doing it on a headset without any other option like a PC or Mac. Now this is my last tip. If for some reason these steps do not work when you get to the configure scope settings and you go in to actually try to install an APK that you downloaded, whether it was from APK Pure or wherever you might've got it from and you don't get the actual install button when you click on it, there is a really easy and simple fix. All we're gonna do is back out of this window here, get all the way back to the main screen. And then when we get into the main screen here, we're gonna hit the X and we're gonna go ahead and hit the crash. I know that sounds kind of weird, but let me explain. All that the crash does is actually close out the app and act like the headset has been rebooted. We're gonna go back to the same exact scope settings that we've been trying to do. Request access, go back a few folders, find our download folder and find the APK we want to install. And now look, we have the install option right here. It really is as simple as that. Then here is one more juicy tip. You can also use Mobile VR Station to install the APK Pure Store so that you don't actually have to keep using Mobile VR Station to install all your APKs. Install this store. This is a trusted source for me and you can use it to download a ton of Android apps. And now we're done. We're gonna go ahead and click on Explore tab, go where we can filter out our apps and choose Unknown Sources. This is where all our APKs will be. I installed a ball pool. And as you can see here, we finally have it actually running on the Quest 3. That's right, I'm playing an Android app with just my hands, no controllers at all. This is so cool. 
Now, I didn't just stop here. I went ahead and downloaded the Xbox Game Pass app and actually played it on my Quest 3. This is so cool with an Xbox controller. Here I have it in pass through playing Mortal Kombat. It was just a blast having so much fun, but I didn't stop there either. You know, you can run multiple apps at the same time. Here I have Disney Plus, Xbox Game Pass, and 8 Ball Pool all running, proving that this thing is a beast and all of them work flawlessly at the same time. Although you really can't play 8 Ball Pool and an Xbox game all at the same time. I mean, come on. Well, there you have it, folks. That is Mobile VR Station. And I'm so excited that we finally have a free way to install APKs on our Quest device without having to sideload via a PC or a Mac. Now, I will advise once again to be careful what APKs you install because they could have packaged malware. So make sure you're downloading APKs from a source that you trust. You know what else is a source you should trust? You know what else you should stay connected to? Hmm? Channel. So why don't you subscribe, why don't you hit the thumbs up, why don't you comment below, let us know how much you enjoyed this content, and hitting that bell notification so you can know the next time a video comes, because I promise you, we got a lot more content coming real soon. It's your boy Jay Dunn, and I'll see you next time. Peace.